Britain has a rich history in the women's javelin, with Tessa Sanderson and Fatima Whitbread winning all the major titles in the sport between them. So the rules for this competition state the tip of the javelin must strike the ground first and the athlete's foot must not step over the white line. If either of those things happen, then it'll be a foul throw and won't be measured. We're about to find out who's got the knack for throwing the javelin, or not, as the case may be. So we're ready for the competition to get underway, and the first to throw tonight will be Rebecca Sarka. Now, she's got a good little skip on the delivery stride, the impulse strike, as it's called. First throw is a good one from Rebecca Sarka. Yeah, just look at that. She stops just there. She's got to try and make sure that it's a full flow, that when that arm goes back, it follows through, and she does that, but it doesn't go very far. So it's a legal throw, which is the main thing. And 13.41 is the opening throw for Rebecca Saka. A reminder, it's the best of the two throws. Olivia Atwood is next. She's been suffering with a rotator cuff injury to her left shoulder. It's not her throwing arm, but it does potentially affect the throw. <laughs> Needs to commit, Simon. She's so cautious, really cautious. The best throw she's done in training is around the 10 metre mark. The result is in, and it's 10.79. Wow. A personal best, a PB, Simon. Look at that. Third celebrity to throw, Lucrezia Millerini. Now, she's worked really hard at this event. She's had to basically because she's five foot one, which means she is at a slight disadvantage. Ideally for the javelin, you'd have big long levers. Close to the white line there, and very close to the edge of the legal field as well. Let's have a look at it in detail. Really is close she to the close to the line? Let's have a look. She stops with that right foot just there. That's perfect, and then takes it back. 14.68. Now, her best is 15 metres. I was told by the coaches before this, between 14 and 15 would be a good result for her. That's great. And it is great because it means she is in the early lead. Chelsea was next to throw. But despite being front runner in training, threw a foul. If it's tip first or flat, it will count. Tail first, it's a foul throw. Christine was another contender. But also failed to make a legal throw. The red flag goes up. Yeah. And things didn't fare much better for Phoenix. Which way will it go? With a third foul throw. It may well be oh, another no, no throw. She's gutted as well. Why, she's saying. Both the javelin and the actual positioning of her feet count as a double fault. Oh, she knows now. Devastated, gutted. So the first round is complete. Lucrezia Millerini leading the way, 14 metres 68. Rebecca Sarka, who was the first to throw in second place, and Olivia Atwood, with a personal best of just over 10 metres, is in third. So how it will work now is they will go in ascending order. So the leader, Lucrezia Millerini, will be the last to go. I'm not sure she expected to be in the lead at the halfway no, mark. No, not at all. And incredibly, the three celebrities with a no throw in the first round were the three favourites for this competition. Here comes Chelsea now. Chelsea has to get it right this time. Can she ignore that troublesome elbow and get a good throw in here? Chelsea Grimes. <laughs> Let's have a look once again at Chelsea's throw. That run it is perfect. It flies out of her arms and lands her in, I would say, in the lead time. 13.87. Which currently takes her into second place, but oh. Lucrezia still leads. Oh, well done. Christine gets ready for her throw. 
The coaches know her for working in short, sharp bursts. Well, a good short, sharp burst will serve her well here. She's capable of over 20 metres if it all comes together. Did that land flat? Let's wait for the white flag. It is a white flag. The throw is good. It looked as if it was just over the 20 metre mark. We're waiting for official confirmation. It's a nervous, anxious wait. 20 0 5. Look at her. Delighted. Well, it was a short, sharp burst of concentration that took her to the top of the leaderboard. She knew that if she got one right, she could send it as far as possible, and she did. In this group, she improved more than anybody else, from around the 10-metre mark at the start up to about 22-ish at her best, but 20-metre throw really good. Phoenix goes up round now. She was the third celebrity to record a no-throw in the first round. She, too, has thrown over 20 metres. Well, pressure's on now. Here she goes. Yes. The throw, I think, is good, and it's near the 20-metre mark. She's happy. Oh, very happy. On her day, she's capable of a good throw. Has she come up with one good enough to take the lead here? What an effort. Look at her straight away. She knows it's going a long way, and she's so happy. This will be close after that first javelin to come back and produce that. She's waiting for confirmation, and she'll be even more delighted now. 22-46, new leader. Ah, oh, absolutely. And who's first to congratulate? It's Christine. Olivia was next to throw, scoring a personal best of 11.38 metres. Then Rebecca, who beat her first throw with a solid 16.71 metres. So Lucrezia Millerini was the leader after the first round, but she currently finds herself in fourth place. So she's got it all to do here, Cami. She has indeed. And here we go. What's the distance? Well, good effort. It's just where the javelin landed as to whether it was outside the, the lines. You could see the angle was all wrong on release there. It's just outside the oh, sector, no. so it will not count. And Phoenix Gulza Brown is the winner. 22 metres 46 was enough to win it. Christine McGuinness throwing just over 20 metres. So Phoenix Gulza Brown takes a maximum six points. Christine takes five, so on all the way to the bottom, bringing up the rear, Olivia Atwood with one. Chelsea Grimes was the favourite for this. That's the upset, the fact that she is down into fifth place.